eat and drink some later, said the wolf. Here you go, darling. Forgotten how
These tracks would be so much nicer with trains. Mrs. Marley. I warned her against it. Taking vanilla and chocolate together, you can lose your balance. Scorch marks? Did somebody blow it up? I hope the butterflies survived. I wish this came in a different colour. I hope the whole thing doesn't fall on me.
I'm not getting out that way. I can't let them go off on their own. I'd go in their place if I could. They're not hard like you. They're delicate. They're flowers. They still climb into bed with me when they have nightmares. I'd go anyway. I'm going to pretend you've never said that. They'll be fine. They'll adapt. Kids adapt. Oh, you can't understand what it's like, can you? For someone to take your children away, to send them where you can't protect them. Where you can't even hold them when they cry, when they're scared. You're not a mother. And you probably never will be, will you? <sighs> Hiding up there, are you? You think I can't climb in these heels? You're so beautiful. I wish I didn't have to crush you into bits. I wonder if caterpillars have any inkling what's going to happen to them. I wonder if they'd choose it, if they could.
Well, you wouldn't survive the winter anyway. Now, how do I get out of here? I've never seen a lock like this before. I can't pick it. Maybe one of these bastards has a key. Tucked out of sight, my. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is brilliant. I can replace almost everything I need with botanicals and the old butterfly. Shall we wonder today?
Bloody hell, I've lost my intolerance. <laughs> Recommend an excellent tailor, man. It'd be bad to give you gin when your teeth comes in. My mum always said she knew I'd go wrong because of the way I cried for gin when I was a baby. Yes, darling. Mummy was precocious. <laughs> Someday, when you have teeth, you'll be able to eat mummy's cooking. Sometimes when I'm outside, I think I hear you crying when it's just the wind. Then I realise I don't hear you and that's worse. As long as you're crying, I know you're alive. I suppose it's a strange thing for a mother to want her baby to cry. But you don't need to do it at this exact moment, darling. Shh. I better finish that batch of blackberry joy, or the whole world's gonna freak out. Lovely day for it, Miss Spoil. 
lads have uh, grown quite concerned about the lack of blackberry in their diet. Then they're in luck. I've made quite a bit of it, and it's all for you, lads. Ho, ho, ho! Won't the lads be delighted? I hope you will accompany me to the station forthwith. Um, uh, the lads have, um, prepared a little merriment to show our gratitude. Miss Boyle, Miss Boyle, Miss Boyle makes the world go round. Miss Boyle, Miss Boyle, Miss Boyle makes the world go round. Miss Boyle, Miss Boyle, Miss Boyle makes the world go round. Miss Boyle makes the world go round. Double E to the S A V E D S A V E D from the bonds of S I N. Glory, glory, hallelujah, hip hooray, amazing, hallelujah, sing hallelujah. For the sixpence on a drunk, save another drunken bum, sing hallelujah, sing hallelujah. For the sixpence on the drum, and you'll be saved. That was wonderful. Thank you. Hey, lads. That should hold you for a bit, right? And Miss Boyle will be sure to synthesize a blackberry on time next time. So we don't have all this awkwardness. After all, with all you lads are going through, who knows how long this batch will last? Not as long as the last one, I'll wager. How many times did I nearly get myself killed for this patch? Gwen, we have got to get out of this goddamn town. No, no, no. It's a rat. You're a rat. You have to be a rat. It's just a silly feeling. I'll go home and make sure she's all right. I'm sure she's fine. It's just one rat where it shouldn't be.
How can I help you? Let's spend my money, shall we? Quite what I'm looking for, thanks. Morning. I hope you'll consider us for your future purchases. We get new items in almost every. Exactly how mommy feels. She's not allowed to show it to anyone. Not even you. Aren't you hungry, darling? We'll get across to the mainland. I just haven't got the faintest fucking clue how. But I bet there are still cows out there. Or goats. Won't be this awful stuff mummy proves. And a cute little runny nose. And a rash that keeps getting worse. Oh, and a fever. Dear Lord, please don't let it be measles. Oh my God. Babies die of measles. How the hell do I treat it? Where the fuck am I gonna get cod liver oil? Cod liver oil. Yes, Dr. Verloc does have some. But he's pretty pissed off at mommy right now. But I'll die if I don't get cod liver oil. All right, all right. I'll go and see him. Maybe he's calmed down. Maybe. Christ, I haven't been to Hayworth Lab since I started showing. This is not going to be fun.
It's advanced maths and chemistry. One of the German scientists is teaching it. We're not paying extra school fees for something you'll never use. That's too bad. All the brightest boys are taking it. The ones from their best families. And I'll need help with my homework. And we'll get to know each other. <sighs> for once, you're talking sense. Maybe this once, we can scrape together some money. If you can talk your way in. He already said yes. Imagine my surprise. Hello, it's Sally. Sally Boyle. Can I come in? Right, oh, ma'am. I'll get the door for you. Miss Boyle, what a nice surprise. We haven't seen you in quite some time, have we, Constable Whistler? Indeed, we have not, Constable Layton. And may I say, Mom, you brighten our day. Like, uh, like... Like Blackberry Joy. What would we do without our Blackberry Joy? And we thank you for it, don't we? I must say, Dr Verloc is not equally thankful, seeing as you have become his primary competition. And he nurses a broken heart. Hell hath no fury, as they say. Are you quite sure you wish us to announce your presence? P please. Dr. Verloc, sir? I said no interruption. Dr. Verloc, sir, there is a young lady who wishes to see you. You'll have to be more specific. You place me in a quandary, sir, as you have expressly forbidden me to speak her name on any account. Sally. Hi. Come crawling back, have you? Please don't hate me, Anton. Oh, no? I teach you everything I know. You steal my notes. You are my notes, Doctor. You steal my business, and you have the nerve to come back here. You locked me out in the rain to teach me a lesson. And then you replace me with Bing. Anton. We were so close. So close to cracking the isometric structure of the new molecule. I suppose you cracked it on your own after you left, didn't you? Doctor. Your Blackberry. Doctor! I don't care if the General's protecting you. You've gone too far this time. Sergeant, arrest her. She's a thief. Don't let her get away. I am sorry, Miss Boyle. Uh, perhaps you had better... Yeah. Of course. Fuckity fuckity fuck. Where do I get cod liver oil now? Wait. Arthur. He was always so good at finding things. If he can survive the Garden District... He was so... Mad, but... He could never stay mad at me for long. Not after he told me off.
home, James. Before we begin, please listen to a personal message. Who's our prudent friend? I'm sorry. For the past 14 years, I've sort of thought about what I'd say if I ever ran into you again. But being a complete jealous ass about the general was not really part of the plan. Sir Robert's a client. Oh, good. I, I mean... <laughs> I don't go around having sex with all my clients. No, no. Uh, of course not. I just... I could ask him. He likes to feel important. Even after all those awful things I said? We used to be Arthur and Sally. The two musketeers. Remember? Did you really come here just to offer me a letter of transit? Or did you want something? I thought we could help each other. Alright. What do you want? I used to know I could trust you about anything. Of course you can trust me. What is it you want? It's going to sound stupid, but... A bottle of cod liver oil. A bottle of cod liver oil? Like your mum used to torment you with? What if I told you it was sort of a souvenir? Why on earth would you want to remember your mum? I don't know. I keep hoping I'll remember something that'll make it all better. Like maybe it was an accident and she didn't mean to poison the soup. You know how joy fucks up your memories. 
Look, if it's too much to ask... I suppose it would be too much to expect. Don't worry, Arthur. I will ask my friend the General for a rotten scrap of paper just for old time's sake. Look. It's not exactly a souvenir. Things have got... a little more complicated than usual. I'm sorry I fucked everything up. I wanted to die, you know. I thought about it. But I couldn't. Not after... After... What your mum did. What my mum did. <sighs> Look, I'll get it for you. The cod liver oil. I missed you so. I'm sorry. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I'll, I'll... I'll get you that letter. I have to go. I'm sorry. I'm really... Really... It just, I'll just came out. Go. Get you that bottle. Meet you back here sometime. I'll let you know when I've got it. I guess I've got to see the general now. Won't that be fun? Ha <laughs> 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 